talking and start the show with the multi-talented and double-jointed Jim Carrey. Good to be here. My name is Jim Carrey, and how are you this evening? All righty, then. Uh, Gee. I'm born... Yeah, I, I was raised in this country, you know. And uh, I live in Los Angeles now. Uh, <laughs> no, I do. I live in Los Angeles. It's weird, though, you know, because when you tell people in Los Angeles you grew up in Canada, they, they don't know what goes on up here, you know? So a lot of times you get the same answer. Wow! Must have been cold! <laughs> you know? And I used to get upset. I used to explain to them about the four different kinds of seasons we have and stuff like that. But now I find it's more fun just to go along with it. Yes. Canada. It was a frozen, hostile wasteland. <laughs> and there was much work to be done if we were to survive the elements. <laughs> After boring a hole through the ice to find food, <laughs> my good friend Nan took and I would build an igloo to protect ourselves from polar bears and flying hockey pucks. <laughs> then we would drink a lot of beer. <laughs> and when Nantuck was ready, he would tell me the story of the great moose who said to the little squirrel, Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Oh, man. But I'm here now. I'm here, and I feel good tonight. Really good. Excellent. Super. I just want to go, 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 go. I think those subliminal motivation tapes are starting to make a difference. Need something, you know? Seems like we're always trying to fend off these negative impulses, you know? It's like you're with a friend, could be your best friend in the whole world, stand about two feet away talking to you. You're thinking, my goodness, I could just fire out and hit him right now. <laughs> he would never expect it. <laughs> He's my friend! <laughs> See, insanity is never that far away. It's as close as saying yes to the wrong impulse. The people who stay sane are the people who can make those quick decisions. Hmm, should I stick my fingers into the fan or leave the room right now? Should I run the blade of this razor across my tongue or just keep shaving? <laughs> You're right there. You could just go. <laughs> See, luckily, most of us have that little voice inside our head that says, ah, ah, ah. Turning the car into oncoming traffic is counterproductive. <laughs> we could learn to control our impulse, man. We could all be like Jimmy Stewart, you know? I love that guy. You know, because no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. Well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> well, hey, everybody, come on over to the window. <laughs> well, look at that mushroom cloud. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And the amazing thing to me is that that's something so magnificent, so colorful, could just melt your face right off. <laughs> That's positive energy, you know? We gotta find a way to channel these impulses in a positive way. That's why I love music, man. Anything that makes a human being wanna go... <laughs> is okay with me. <laughs> we should open up the parameters of what we listen to, though, you know? There's just so much wonderful music in the world. Like, it bothers me that the people in this country and the United States don't know about the incredible pop music coming out of the Middle East right now. <laughs> I'm totally into it. I'd like to be the one to bring it to the West. Come on, clap your hands. We'll do one of the songs. 
We don't get to listen to that, you know? Radio is just so much different over there. <laughs> that was Hottie Bob by Cool Abdul. <laughs> Coming up next on Libya Rap, DJ Jazzy Mahachnubar. <laughs> the fresh roughs on Johnny. <laughs> but first, a word from our hostage. They mean business! <laughs> and if you thought Jim Carrey was bizarre, here to expand the definition is Michelle